In this video I'm going to show you how to deploy device tree overlays. A device tree overlay is a file that describes the hardware in a system. For example, it could describe how the SPI bus um, interfaces with the system, like which pins it uses and what modes they are set in. So right now I SSH into both of my Beagle bones. Here just for reference, on my left side I have uh, Debian or uh, Release 8.6 and on my right side I have Release 7.11. However, I'll mostly be working on Debian 8.6, uh, but because there are some differences between both versions, I'll, I'll be mentioning them as I go. So first off, there are already device tree overlays that are in your system that you can use, and they are located under lib uh, slash lib slash firmware. So if we cd into uh, firmware, so cd slash lib slash firmware, hit enter, then do ls dash l, enter. And here you can see that all of the files that end with DTBO are the device tree overlays. You can also create your own and build them from DTS files, but I won't cover that in this video. And on Debian 7.11, these device tree overlays are located under the same directory. Now, back on Debian 8.6, to deploy a device tree overlay, you need to write to a file called slots. And that file is located under uh, slash sys, slash devices, slash platform, slash bone underscore cave manager slash slots so if we print the contents of that file we should see which device tree overlays are already deployed if, if any so let's go to the beginning of the command line and uh, use the command cat to print the contents of the slots file hit enter and here you can see that currently the device tree overlay that I have deployed is the bb-pwm0 device tree overlay and I know that it is deployed because it has an L here and on Debian 7.11 the slot file is located in a different directory and that directory is slash sys slash devices slash bone underscore k manager dot nine slash slots so again if we uh, print the output the contents of the slots file using the cat command we can see which device tree overlays are currently deployed. So here we can see that the HDMI device tree overlay is currently deployed and the EMC device tree overlay is currently deployed. Now to export and unexport a device tree overlay it's the same on both Debian versions. So back on Debian 8.6 uh, to export a device tree overlay you write the name of the device tree overlay uh, not including the dash 00a0.dtb0 to the slots file and to do that you use the echo command. So let's go ahead and export the other PWM device tree overlay. So to do that we do echo open quotes bb dash pwm and the other pwm device tree overlay is pwm1 close double quotes then use the redirect output symbol and point it to uh, the slots file hit enter and if we print the contents of the slots file we should see that the bb dash pwm1 device tree overlay was exported so i'm gonna use the up key to go to my previous command hit enter and here you can see that the PWM1 device tree overlay was successfully exported and to an export a device tree overlay you again write to the slots file but you write the number of the device tree overlay that you want to unexport so we do use the echo command again then dash the number of the device tree overlay that we want to unexport so I'm gonna go ahead and unexport uh, the PWM0 device tree overlay so I'm going to enter the number 6, use a redirect output sign, then specify the name of or the path of this last file. Hit enter, and then go ahead and print the contents of this last file again. And you should see that the PWM0 device tree overlay was uh, removed. Now sometimes when you export a device tree overlay, your SSH window might close out. And that's an issue that I saw also on Debian 7.11. And when that happens, uh, if you SSH into it again and try to uh, do something in it, uh, you won't be able to. You're just going to freeze. So if that ever happens, go ahead and hit the reset button on the uh, Beagle Bone Black. So just to show you, let's go on to Debian 7.11. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and cd into my lib-firmware directory. And I know that this issue happened whenever I wanted to export the AM33XX underscore PWM uh, device tree overlay 
So let me just uh, see the name of it. Uh, so this file, when I run, I unexported this file, the SSH window would close out on me and then if I wanted to open it again, it would just be frozen. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that just to show you there. So I went ahead and exported the, that file. So let me print the contents to make sure that it was exported. So now if I wanna, if I try to ex unexport it, you should see the whole window close out. So if I hit enter, there the window closed out. And now if I try to reopen it again, so I'm signed in and if I try to, let's just print out the contents of the slot file again, hit enter, you should see that I don't get anything. It just kind of froze. So if that ever happens, just go ahead and hit the restart button on your BeagleBone Black. Now another way to export device tree overlays is by using the command config-pin. So let me clear the screen. If we type in the command config-pin, then let's just type dash dash help, slash, yeah dash dash help, enter. We should see that here it tells us that to export a device tree overlay, we type in the command config-pin followed by the word overlay followed by the name of the device tree overlay that we want to export. So right now we have the PWM1 device tree overlay exported. So now let's go ahead and export the PWM0 device tree overlay. So we use the command config-pin type in the word overlay then type in the device tree overlay you want to export. So PWM0 hit enter Use the up keys to go to your previous command, type, uh, print out the outputs of this lost file, and you should see that that device tree overlay was exported. And again, you can use this command on Debian 7.11 as well. Now, there are some device tree overlays that you cannot export or unexport using the con config pin command or by writing to this lost file. Instead, you need to write to a file called uenv.txt. And to access that file, it's different for Debian 8.6 and Debian 7.11. So for Debian 8.6, that file is located under the slash boot folder. So if we cd into uh, slash boot, hit enter, then type in ls. You can see that here's the file that I was talking about. So let's go ahead and edit that file. And to edit it, let's use uh, vim. So type in vim, then dot slash for current directory. Then type in the name of the file uenv.txt, hit enter. And here you can see that there are several lines that you can comment or uncomment. And based on which ones you comment or uncomment, uh, different device tree overlays will get exported or unexported. So let's go ahead and, uh, for this example, export the Cape Universal and device tree overlay. So to do that, go down to this line. And uh, I added this comment but you you probably don't have it so to edit it hit the i key and if you add this pound symbol here this device tree overlay should be uh unexported so because i already had it unexported i'm gonna go ahead and remove the command so that it exports and i can show you that editing this file work now to save the file hit is hit the escape key then uh type in a colon so shift semicolon then lowercase w for write and Q for quit. Hit enter. Now if we output the contents of this lost file, you shouldn't see the the universal and device tree overlay yet. To see you need to reboot your system. So if you're signed in as root, uh, type in the command reboot. If not, do the command sudo reboot. So let's hold let's go ahead and reboot. So now that I rebooted, let's go ahead and print out the contents of the slots file. And you should see that this time the universal and device tree overlay is, is exported. And if you commented the that part of the line that I talked about before, you should see that this is now gone. And the reason why you might want to unexport certain device tree overlays like the universal and device tree overlay, it may be because you want to have access to a pin and control a pin but you can't because a device tree overlay is uh, using it and we'll see example of, of, the, of that in uh, later videos. Now to write to the 
uenv.txt file on Debian 7.11, you need to follow several steps. So first, you need to create the directory vfad under the slash mnt folder. So if you're not signed in as root, use the command sudo, uh, then make dir to make a directory, then specify the path slash mnt slash vfad. And, and uh, vfad is the directory you want to create, so hit enter. Because I already created vfat, uh, I get a file exist message. After that, use the command sudo if you're not signed in as root. And then mount, then space, slash dev, slash mmc, blk, 0p1. Space, slash mnt, slash vfat. Hit enter. Now if we cd into the vfat folder, we should see there the uenv.txt uh, file to to edit. So let's cd into that file, into that folder cd mnt slash vfat. Let's do ls, print out all the files there. And you can see that the uenv.txt file is there. Now before we edit it, let's go ahead and print out the contents of the slots file just to see which device tree overlays we have there. So for me, you can see that the HDMI device tree overlay is currently exported. So I'm going to go ahead and unexport it by editing the uenv.txt file. So again, let's use vim. So vim dot slash for current directory uenv. Hit the tab key to autocomplete. Hit enter. Now let's, uh, with our arrow keys, let's move down to this part of the file and you can see that the reason why the HDMI device tree overlay is exported is because this line that unexports it is commented out so let's erase the pound uh, symbol uh, so let's go ahead and hit the I key to insert hit the backspace to erase it now let's uh, save and quit so hit the escape key the, type in a colon so shift semicolon and then uh, lowercase w and q for right quit hit enter uh, let's go ahead and output the contents of the slots file again so like on Debian 8.6 you can see that even though you edited that file uh, this, the change is still not applied to see the change applied let's reboot so reboot hit enter so I signed back into my BeagleBone uh, Debian 7.11 version and uh, if we print the contents of that file, you should see that that device tree overlay um, is now disabled, so the L is not there anymore. Another thing you can do so that you don't have to retype the whole path to the slots file is to actually create a environmental variable and set it equal to this this path. So first, let's check which shell we have, and you can do that by typing in the ps command or by typing in echo dollar sign shell and you can see that I'm using bash and uh, the same for Debian 8.6 so echo dollar sign shell now to set this environmental variable we want to set it into our bash dot bash rc file if you're running bash or your dot bash underscore profile file and if you're running something else like c shell it should be dot csh rc or dot csh underscore profile so on debian 8.6 i'm gonna edit the dot bash rc file and on debian 7.11 i'm gonna edit the dot bash rc underscore profile file and i'll explain the difference between both of the files in a minute so let's go ahead and clear the screen so those files are located in your home directory now to see the those files type in the command ls dash a and the dash a means uh, show hidden directories so any or hit show hidden files so any file or directory that starts with a dot is a hidden file or directory so on Debian 7.11 I might edit the bash profile file so I'm going to use bim so type in dot slash for current directory then dot bash underscore profile and for 8.6 I might edit the bash rc file so bim dot slash dot bash rc file rc file and if you want to edit your bash underscore profile file you can see i don't have one but i can easily create one so i'm uh, just going to edit that file 
Now the difference between the bash RC file and the bash profile file is that the bash profile file gets executed every time you use the login shell. So every time you type in your username and your password into a terminal window like you did when you SSH into your BeagleBone Black, that's the login shell. And the bash RC shell gets executed every time you open a terminal window. And you can also see that the bash profile file uh, executes the bash RC file if it exists. So here I already went ahead and created my variable. I named it slots, same as the slots file, and the same for uh, Debian 8.6. Created my slots file, the slots variable, and set it equal to my slots file. And then you want to do export. Type in the name of the variable you created. And again, this is just for bash. So again, let's go ahead and save and quit. So hit escape key colon, write and quit. And if you just don't want to write anything to it, you just want to quit, just use Q. Now to check that the variable was created, you want to do echo, dollar sign, and then the name of your uh, variable that you created, so slots. So if you do this, you probably won't see anything here. You'll probably just get a blank line. And the reason for that is because your bash profile, bash underscore profile file needs to get executed. And the same if you make your edits on the bash RC file. So mine show because I already had it set before this. But if you want to rerun your bash RC file so that the changes do show, you can use a command source. Then dot slash for current directory. If you're on this directory, then dot bash RC, hit enter. Then if you type in echo, you should see the file that the file path that you set equal to your slots variable. Now if you edited your dot bash underscore profile file, there's a different command that you want to use to run this file. And like I mentioned before, this file only gets executed when you use the login shell. So if you reset your beagle bone and signed into it again, you should be able to print this variable that you created and you should get the output of whatever you set it equal to. But we don't want to reboot our system so to execute this file we use the command exec slash boot or slash uh, bin slash bash since that's where our shell is located then dash dash login hit enter and if you were to print the output of whatever you set your variable equal to you should get this so now that we created these variables all we have to do to read or write to the slots file is use the dollar sign and the variable that you created. So let's go ahead and print the outputs of the slots file. So instead of typing in the whole path, I just want to type in dollar sign and then the name of the variable that you created. So for me it's slots and there you can see that the contents of the slots file was printed. Or if I want to export an overlay, so let me see the into my lib firmware. And let me export again my PWM0 overlay. So echo pb-pwm0 redirect output symbol, then dollar sign slots, hit enter. And then if we output the contents of the slots file again, you should see that the that device tree overlay was successfully exported. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.